Hey guys, Brian the Shaving Geek here with another episode of my shave of the day. Had a wonderful shave to uh, kick off my day today. Even though it's kind of cold and wet outside, uh, my shave was, was phenomenal and it was just a great way to start off the day. Today I used this new brush and knot um, that I have. This is the Game Changer Knot from Anthony McKenzie. It's a 24 millimeter knot in a Creek Road pottery handle and really, really enjoying this, uh, this combination. Um, the, this handle just feels great in the hand, a lot of nice heft to it. And this knot is phenomenal. A lot of great backbone, but still that nice softness uh, that you, you know, I've come to expect from a synthetic. So really, really glad to have this and uh, very, very happy with it. Uh, I'm th actually thinking about doing a head-to-head um, you know, brush competition between the two of these. Uh, we'll see um, which one reigns supreme. But uh, use this. Uh, this has got the uh, Nathan Clark Ubersoft 2. This is a 26 millimeter knot. And I really, really enjoy this. But uh, I'm really enjoying this one as well. So I don't know. I don't know if I've got a clear cut favorite yet. I think I'm going to put them head to head, see which one comes out on top. But either way, they're both great knots, and uh, these handles are phenomenal. Thank you, Al. CreekRoadPottery.com. Al's uh, working on some uh, handles. I got some ideas that he's playing around with, so looking forward to, to that coming out. For my soap today, this is a uh, soap that Jeremy, my buddy, uh, lent me. And uh, this is uh, Salty Lime from PAA. Really, really enjoyed this. Um, whew. Uh, my nose is a little stuffed up, but uh, still no problem whatsoever. Whew, um, picking this up off the uh, off the puck, um, I would I would like it maybe to be a, a hair bit stronger, but uh, you know it's just really a really enjoyable scent, and uh, it, it's very interesting because sometimes, uh, well I love citrus uh, scents. Sometimes lime scents just aren't my my cup of tea, and I think it's a lot of times the lime scents are synthetic, maybe. Um, this one, uh, oh, that's nice. I don't know how to, it's different. There's just something different to this, to this scent. And I really, really enjoyed it. So uh, thank you, Jeremy, for uh, lending this to me. I'll probably try to get another shave in it before I, uh, in with it before I send it back, but really liked it. Today, for my razor, another go with a hawk. And I'm really starting, I feel like, to uh, get the technique down on this razor, really understanding how much pressure to apply. And uh, I'm finding that even though it's a light razor, um, I'm not having to apply as much pressure as I thought I would have to. And so, as a result, uh, I didn't have any weepers or anything under my, uh, under my chin like I've been having happen. Very interesting because this blade, and I should pull out, let me just pull out my, um, this is my uh, injector, I think it's a J, and you can see the difference in width. I mean, you know, I've, I've got a good, uh, what is that, almost a half inch maybe there, um, wider uh, on the Hawk versus the injector blade. And uh, I'm just finding that really makes a huge difference, especially when you've got contours down here, you know, on your throat. Um, it, you know, you really have to be careful and don't apply too much pressure or it's almost like a vegetable peeler. So I uh, learned that the hard way, but boy, I mean, it's, this sucker is so wide that, man, it's almost, uh, almost two strokes and I'm done with my cheeks now that I'm rocking this uh, wonderful Movember uh, to spring, first day of spring uh, goatee here. For my aftershave today, I uh, matched it up with this Tom and Two, which is a citrusy aftershave from, uh, it used to be Beaver Woodwright, now Black Ship Grooming Company. And this really is more of an orange scent. Um, whew, uh, it's, it's just like a fresh squeezed orange, but I felt like, you know, the citrus would uh, pair well with the salty line lime and um so it was a great sh great shave great way to start my day today and uh nothing but uh good things 
So Brian, the uh, Shaving Geek, reporting live from my shave den, wishing you a lifetime of happy shaves. Have a great day, everybody.